And welcome back to Musina. And we are just a few kilometers away from uh, the Bridge uh, border post. And of course, a hive of activity here today. President Cyril Ramaphosa expected uh, to uh, be here at around nine this morning. And of course, SABC will be bringing you coverage of that event. It's the launch of the Border Management Authority. And I suppose this speaks to greater cooperation between South Africa and Zimbabwe here at the Bridge border post uh, in order to ensure that uh, the facilitation of movement of people, of goods, uh, is uh, done in a more streamlined fashion and also clamping down on uh, the illegal and illicit activities that are currently taking place, uh, which is, of course, a great concern for many South Africans. But one would imagine that uh, given that this is a border town, it would uh, be absolutely booming and everything would be in tip-top shape. The economy uh, would be bursting at the seams. But let's find out whether that is, in fact, the case. We are joined now by uh, the uh, mayor of uh, the Musina local municipality. And this is, of course, uh, Mr. Godfrey Mawela. Thanks so much for your time this morning, Mr. Mawela. Welcome to Morning Live. Uh, is your town actually uh, seeing the benefits? Is the municipality benefiting from being here at the entry point to South Africa? And, of course, uh, the first stop for people as they cross the Limpopo River. No, thanks, uh, Sakina. Uh, as the municipality, we can say that uh, we are strategically uh, located, but currently, given the illegal activities that are happening, we are not uh, benefiting anything. Actually, we see it as a burden because uh, the flow of illegal, um, undocumented uh, foreign nationals is a burden to the municipality. So currently, there is nothing of a benefit, but more of a burden. So expand on that for us, please, Mr. Mayor, because if people cross the border, you would imagine they are spending money. Uh, so uh, it would give the, econ the economy a boost. But you say it's a burden. So in what way are people not spending? Uh, you know, what exactly is the problem as you experience it as the Musina municipality? Look, where they do spend money uh, in, our, in, our, in our shops here, this side. But what we are referring to when we, we, we talk about the burden is that uh, we are a municipality that budgets for the local people. But when these foreign nationals come uh, without uh, our knowledge, they also use the same infrastructure, the same budget that we have budgeted for our almost 100,000 people. But when they come un undocumented, uh, you, it becomes a serious problem. We are a municipality that is struggling with uh, water and a number of uh, service delivery issues. So with a, a flow, an uncontrolled flow of foreign nationals, illegal ones, becomes a burden. Do you have any sort of estimate of how many people you are having to accommodate those who have made their way to your municipality illegally? I can't uh, be, be, be specific with numbers, but a lot. A uh, lot, uh, thousands, thousands of, of illegal uh, foreigners are in our, in our town. It's a serious problem. So with regard to the actual burden, uh, you say, of course, uh, you are struggling because people are not paying or more people are making use of the uh, services that you deliver, but not paying for it. So talk to us a little bit more about that and also in terms of how that affects the local community here. Look, uh, we are uh, experiencing a, a burden in the sense that uh, there is a water shortage in Musina. And if you check, uh, the infrastructure has been aging for, for a while now. When you have a, a, a porous uh, borderline and uh, uncontrolled flow of illegal uh, immigrants, it becomes a serious burden. And uh, we are calling upon uh, the national government. Actually, we are happy that the national government and the president himself is, make, is taking this thing serious uh, to consider giving support to the municipality because uh, if we are going to be using our, only our budget, it becomes very difficult to to sustain giving mm. service to our people, also including uh, the foreign nationals. We have a hospital here. If you go to the Mosina Hospital, they will tell you that uh, they receive foreign nationals almost every now and then. Actually, the hospital is, 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 is home to the foreign nationals who are coming here illegally, and they can't turn them away. Look, they are using the, the, the medication, everything that is in the hospital is meant for our people here. But it ends up uh, servicing uh, illegal uh, uh, foreigners who are coming here illegal. It affects us uh, negatively as the municipality and we want the national government to, to be coming to party to help us arrest the situation. 
It's not a new situation, so I would imagine that you have complained about it before. So what sort uh, of interventions have there been? Uh, look, we, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a work in progress. We are uh, time and again engaging. Lastly, we have uh, the Minister of Health who was here. We took him to the hospital to experience, to get to see the challenges that the, 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 the hospital is, is, is facing. We are happy. The Commissioner of PMA, we are working closely with them uh, to address uh, the issue of border control, borderline control, because uh, it is a serious problem. So we, can, we, can, we, can, we can't necessarily say there is, there's been an intervention, but interactions are there, and we are just hopeful that uh, in the near future we'll find solutions to these problems. Well, that's the mayor, and uh, talking about the burden of uh, having to deal with people who cross into South Africa and, of course, then uh, demand uh, services in as much as the locals do from the municipality. Uh, the mayor says that the hospital, as it stands right now, has now become overrun with uh, foreign nationals seeking medical services. They can't be turned away. Uh, but the question is then, what happens to the locals in that instance? Uh, what does the census then help if you cannot control the number of people that are flocking into the town and also demanding services? There are so many questions and uh, hopefully the Border Management Authority will be able to address some of these. Well, we're going to take you back to uh, Leanne and Auckland Park and of course uh, more Morning Live to follow. We still hear SABC News will bring you the launch of the Border Management Authority. Uh, there will be, I suppose, opportunity later on when the President speaks as well. Uh, to look at what that private-public uh, partnership will actually look like, who will be doing what, and of course the modernization of facilities uh, in order to facilitate uh, easier access to and from uh, the border posts. But as you can see behind me, it's business as usual, the trucks moving in and out, people moving in and out, but I suspect, as I'm told, uh, perhaps not as busy this morning because maybe people know there are many eyes trained on this particular border. Border post this morning. So we'll keep you up to speed with the developments here from Wasina.